Yo, 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 listen up here, yo. Here at all the sense you need, we're going to get serious about giving a gift. Do you really give a gift? because you love a person, because you want that person to enjoy the benefits of that gift? Well, we're conducting a survey here. We are asking a thousand people, youngest, 18, the oldest, 91, two questions. One, is it ever appropriate to ask for a gift back? Number two, is it ever appropriate to refuse a gift? And the purpose of these two questions is, I am trying to make an inquiry into the unconscious and the conscious reasons why we give gifts. Now, if you give me a $5 bill, which I highly encourage all of you to do, send it immediately. I appreciate it. That's a very really nice gift. Or if you give me a gift of a Ferrari, a nice bright red Ferrari, that also would be a nice gift. And I would encourage each of you to send me one of those. Just a second here. Don't you hate when you're talking to people and that you get the feeling that they're not really paying attention? That they're not really paying they're not paying attention to you. I hate that. Anyway, we're having this inquiry into is a gift given unconditionally? And that is if I spend that five dollars or I crash that Ferrari tonight. Tomorrow morning, I'm left with nothing. All I have left is the thought. It's the thought that counts. Is it? Or is it that $5 or that red Ferrari that counts? I don't know. We're asking people, is it ever appropriate to ask for a gift back? And is it ever appropriate to refuse a gift? I want to find out is if there are unconscious or conscious psychological, characterological issues that would make a person ask for a gift back or refuse to accept a gift. I think the result will be shocking because we are probing now into the depths of psychology that very few have gone to into the area of gift giving. Now regarding that five dollars and a Ferrari I would encourage you each to choose the Ferrari and send it right away. It is the thought that counts, but I'd like the Ferrari.